Hey guys, Tony here with BD Outdoors. Gonna go ahead and show you guys how we set up a double trouble. So I'm gonna go into everything that I have out here, what we use it for, how to set it up. So let's get into it. So for those of you guys that don't know what a double trouble is or don't know how to exactly rig it up, this is just another form of bait presentation that you typically run with two rods, you know, um, kind of similar to flying a kite, but the only difference with this is that we're running live bait. So of course the rigging, it's gonna be set up a little bit differently, how you have it placed out in the water is gonna be similar for the most part, but I'll show you guys how we rig it up on, um, on our boat. So to start rigging this up, you know, we usually have a couple different options. So say we're seeing 20 to 40 pounders, we're gonna use a lighter line class. So we might use a 100 pound line to set this up. For you, if we're seeing fish that are a little bit bigger, um, we're gonna be using 150 pound line, 200 pound line. And because of that weight class, you know, the size of hooks that we use is gonna differ with that. So that 100, 150 uh, class line, we're gonna use size 4.0 hooks, depending on the brand. That bigger line class, if we're going into 200 pound test line, we're obviously gonna be using a little bit bigger hook. But for the sake of this video, I'll be doing this setup on 150 pound test and 4.0 circle hooks. So this is basically everything that you're gonna need. So for this, I'm gonna be using Seaguar Big Game 150 pound fluorocarbon. I'm gonna grab uh, about a little bit more than an arm length. My arms are pretty short. The other tools I have here, type of shears to cut that line, your crimping kit that you're gonna use to match with the diameter line that you are using, and that's gonna have everything that you need in there. Obviously, I'm gonna have my crimping tool, I have my lighter, the hooks that I need, and you're ready to go. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna grab the line that I'm using. So again, like I said, I'm gonna have about a little bit more, you want an arm's length, but for me, my arms are a little short. So I have a little bit more than an arm's length of line. Once I have that measured out, I'm gonna grab the first little crimp. All right, I got my swivel. Here I'm putting that tag end line through to create a loop with the swivel. That's eventually gonna get crimped down, but that's gonna be the last step. So the two tag ends here, I'm gonna try and get them as even as I can. Then I'm just constantly adjusting both sides, getting that crimp about to where I want it to be. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of, um, of a tag end loop there, just to create a little bit more movement with the swivel. So now I'm gonna go over to the hook portion. So I have that crimp, have my ringed hook, Again, gonna leave a little bit of a tag end. I'm gonna pass that through. Going to slide that main line forward a little bit. Leave a big tag end. Gonna go ahead, get that tag end lit. Smush that down. That's gonna act as a stopper for part of that crimp. So now I'm just manipulating this line, pushing that part down, pulling that main line through, giving me about to where I want it to be. So I'll go ahead, I'll crimp this first. Make sure it's nice and level. I'm 
All right, so that's that first part. The second side is gonna be the exact same thing. I'm gonna pass it through that crimp, put the ring hook, and leave a little bit of a tag end. Light that end. Flatten that out. Manipulate the line a little bit. Push that forward. I'm gonna make sure it's about the same. And take your crimper. Now you have that second one done. So I'm gonna put that second one up. I'm gonna pull these two together. Make sure that this is as parallel as I can get. That way they're not offset and if you put your bait on and you got one bait in the water and the other one's a few inches higher, you want both of those baits to be same place right in, at the surface of the water. So my tag end is good. And this swivel, you want to have a high, highly rated swivel, like a 200, 300 rated swivel, heavy duty swivel on there. Everything's all lined up. Go ahead, take the crimp. Do that first one into the second. So like I mentioned before, this is a alternative to the flyer using live bait. So you're obviously gonna match whatever bait you have to the hook, match it to the grade of fish that you're seeing. So really important to have both of those as, as parallel, as even as possible, because it's gonna hang you know, from that kite setup like this across the surface. Another thing too to mention with this setup, you know, you're not nose hooking a bait like you would a fly line bait. You're gonna be collar hooking or shoulder hooking these baits just so that the bait presentation when they're on that water, if you have that nose hook bait, they're gonna be tilted up a little bit as they're coming out. So you want that, that shoulder hook just so that they're kind of planed out as they go out. So that's the ideal bait um, way to hook that bait with this, with this type of setup. We've had a lot of success this year um, given the right condition using this type of setup. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Other than that, thanks for watching.